Oh, hey, we're back to this. I still don't feel like it, but... To be honest, it's a mix of things and circumstances. But I need to push through, because the more you push through, the more you like it anyway. So let's move on, shall we? To translating angels scalings into that, which so far has been quite a situation. Wow, it's fucking 11.20. And I went out, and I, and I got up, and I started doing stuff, and I've been doing stuff ever since. And then I waited for someone, and he got like, ugh. Today was a great day. To say the least, even though it's only been like six hours. <laughs> Actually, it's been five hours on the dot. Ish? No, no, my clock's ten ahead. Ugh. I don't even look at that thing, so why would I put it ten ahead? It doesn't help me. Yeah, let's have a look-see. <sighs> Stretch a bit. There we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, I had uh, duplicates here so I could easily handle... These things. How many were trope? Yeah, we're we're approaching the final stretch here. We're gonna finish this today. I think deserves it. And then we're gonna do Lorem, and Lorem is gonna be fun because I'm going to push it and push it and push it like a big old fat blob of poop. Like I think that the, the thing with Lorem is his third date is great. Uh, it's cute, it's adorable, and it's fun. Uh, the fourth date is not too bad. But the only thing I will remember is how boring the first two kind of were in context. Oh, so sad, so sad. I feel like the problem was they didn't know how to stretch out Lorem's arc over four dates. You know? So, funnily enough... Um, in Dutch, when you ask if someone's afraid of dying, you ask, are you afraid of the death? Which is kind of a weird way to say it. I think that's how I say it, anyway. That's how I usually would say it. Be for the dot. I mean, you could say, you are you afraid to die? You know? Ah, context. It's so sad. Like, I love how, if you ask this, you figure out that she's insecure, because she's like, I don't know, not my thing. And she's like, she doesn't want to be reminded of it, either. There, that works a bit better. Oh, this goes into one of these fucking branches. Twice. Oh, it's thirty. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Wait, what did she say there? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, you can say that? That's fucking creepy as shit, man. You invite her into your house you've just met after, after like, this is like implies to be sort of the first or second-ish day that you've met. I think second day. Yeah, there's like a second, second third-ish day or something, and you're just like, hey, when I wanna, wanna die. Okay, and then we just gotta do, I think they're cute. Also interesting that this menu does not have a, a white space here. Formatting! Let me tell you one thing, I noticed that shit, and I'm sticking up my middle finger, developer. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, that's, oh, fuck, that's uh, not the options, whoops. This is such a weird way to say it. It's like, I'm not... I, I agree, and then it's like, I don't know if I agree. It's like, why would you put it like that? Just put, I agree, and I don't agree. Like, this sounds a bit more restraint, I know, but... Mm, feels a bit klutzy.
mischievous. My chest hurts a bit in a very odd place. I mean, I usually have pains, but... Mm. Blah! I bought some brownies today! I should not go to the fucking supermarket hungry. Don't, don't ever go to the grocery store when you're hungry. You will buy too much stuff. And you'll be like, why did I buy all this stuff? I don't need this much food. Why did I buy Doritos tasting like Mountain Dew? Ah! I just want to dip my Doritos in Mountain Dew, not eat them both at the same time. If I dip them, do they taste the same? Dip your D Mountain Dew flavored Doritos in Doritos flavored Mountain Dew. Click, click. I wonder what that would taste like. Would it taste like either or neither? The ultimate question for the ultimate gamer. Wink, wink. If I ever get a fucking sponsor for either of those products, I will fucking take it just for the shits and giggles of it. If the contract is loose enough that I'm allowed to make shit jokes about it, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. Because that would be the best. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that, though. I'm not that kind of person. I should stream soon. Because people want to see Snake Pass and all that crap. And I need to get back to Doom. Oh, oh. Now that I think about it, I have a lot to do. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, so I think this actually works, but it feels so odd that it's like a whole line shorter. A line and a half, actually. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, this pain it might get in the way of the video. I might actually just stop this and record on later when this pain subsides. It's not bad, but it's really distracting. What is this? Like, it's not in any organ. It. I think it's just... Yeah, I think it might just be that I've been playing too many fucking games lately. I think this is going to be the only video. No flint look, no nothing. I just... Ugh, I need some time on my own. I need to stop talking. I haven't talked too much lately. I need to recharge my talkie-talkie batteries. My walkie-talkie batteries. So, the thing with this building is, I get the impression that it's underground, but at the same time, the way she says it is like they found it alongside the portal it implies that it's above ground enough that you could find it. Yeah, it is underground, but how did they find it then? If it's it's not close enough to the portal that the portal suffers structural damage if the thing, uh, whatever. Wait! Oh, heavily guarded. I thought it said heavily armed. No, no. Mm-hmm. So I decided to make some minor tweaks here, I guess. Uh, it's an underground building. Just specifying that it's an underground... underground building. Um, it's now uh, guarded very strictly while some archaeologists are researching it. Um, I don't know what works on it means. Like, this... I've never heard this. I'm not much in the archaeology crew, but I've never ever seen that term like that. I would say that an archaeologist is researching it, or, or, or excavating it, or examining it. But I wouldn't say works. Um, I think there are many answers when it comes to who built the building, why, and that kind of stuff. You know, and so. And so it's kind of like, a, you know, that kind of shit. You know, I'm gonna look up uh, Warden, and I'm gonna look up Interessant, because I need some fucking... The source. Interessant.
Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, and no, not on. Why the fuck would you put that there? That's like if you're being a bitch. You're being a bitch. Belong vacant. Ooh, buoyant. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Ah, oh, I should use that one. Ooh, I like this too. Ooh, these are good. Which I'm gonna use. So the funny thing is, this immediately establishes her main good ending bit right from the get-go, which I really like. It's really cute. Also, I'm having some trouble with my wrists. Yeah, I really need to take a break after this. Which means today's this is the only meal of the video. But like I said, we are going to finish this up, and I think we can do that. I have to push through. Yeah, I decided to do this, uh, like, really? Instead of why not? Just because it feels a bit punchier. It feels a bit more fitting. Like, instead of asking why not, it's like... Echt niet? Like, ah, like, why are you not afraid of death? That's, 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 it's such a common thing. Like, she's so young. She's all the reason. Well, I guess she is young. That would make her. So. But, but she's someone who enjoys life and wants to give it her all. Like, why would she not be afraid of death? You know? Like, she's got something to lose. It's interesting that she doesn't find the unknown scary, but I don't know. Morbide is a word that I know that works well with dark. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, Le Huber! Ah, oh, that's a good fucking word! Why the fuck is that? What the fuck? Why is that a Y? What? That's not how. Oh man, I guess it's because it's made for English or something, or something. I don't know. Jeez, you could just put "do" there. Everyone knows what the fuck "do" is. <laughs> Yeah, this is rephrased a bit. It's like, this might sound a bit morbid, but I'm kind of interested to see what's after death. I mean, she says all over, but, you know. Actually, death is really avoided, so I might as well avoid it too. I could phrase it in a somewhat cute fashion to say what comes after your funeral. This is a bit of a, a strange way to put it, but it, it kind of works. It kind of softens the blow. So here I changed it a bit. Um, this is basically another way to phrase I see. It's like, oh, I see. Um, but here I changed it a bit because it kind of aligns a little bit better with this because a lot of people say I see when you were green. It's like, come on, you can do something with that. So I decided I'm going to do something with that. It's like she says, yeah, it, it really is something, ain't it? It's like it kind of it kind of ties into it better. It feels more like you're having a conversation with someone. It's like she says, yeah, yeah, there's something to it, ain't it? Hey, hey, want to go, wanna go fisticuffs? I love going fisticuffs. Why is it called fisticuffs? If anything, you should put your, your, your take your cuffs down or off or something. You don't want to get your cuffs in a fight. Unless cuffs refers to something else. Who knows?
I'm half inclined to put a punch in here. Because, I don't know. Ah, I'm just going to put an exclamation point. Just to give it a little extra oomph. That's not funny. It's not nice. Don't do that. Don't don't threaten someone with death. Oh, my back. Actually, my back's fine. For some reason, though, it's been very unruly about things. Probably all this extra exercise, and it's like, no! Not the video games. Here it works a bit better, because Hebrek specifically refers to something you cannot do, like a, an inability or something, like a lack of something. Did she get so disappointed? Stand out. I'm gonna need a word for that. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so here's a here's a here's a funny thing. Here's a funny thing for you, little little, little fuckers. Yep. Is this not correct, or is it edited and that's incorrect? Yeah. So, a very common misconception. This this is the fucking sentence. Here's the fucking sentence, people. I love this. A fucking plus. Bitch, um, you say that you ergs ergs and you you are like it's hard to explain, but for some reason people mix this up. It's like saying it's uh, what was the word again? Irrele irrelevant? No, no, no. Irregardless. This is like saying irregardless. You are mixing two um two com com It's really like irregardless because you're mixing two components that really don't match. You are irritated. You are just irritated by something, although you don't include the by, don't the extra word. You just irritate yourself. Um, but you say you're annoyed by, and you have to add that by. You err on in this this level. And here people are saying, I'm irritated by, and you're not supposed to do it. And it's so fucking cute that they put this fucking sentences because they know people are gonna do that! So this one works. I could put that in, but the problem is the people are gonna say that that's not correct. But I'm gonna do it. Because it works. Because it's something people say that they shouldn't. And it makes sense that a dean would say something she shouldn't. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's oh man. Moving on. God damn. How much how much longer is there? Because I do remember this is like pretty much to the end. Oh right, here you get her to this robe if you get the right question. Yeah, there's a lot of cut stuff here, so we're basically at the end. We're basically at the part where I'm going to ball my eyes out if things go wrong. I'm kinda sad over this though. What did, what did happen in return? Oh yeah, you take a dare. <laughs> I guess what what happened is they wanted you to take a dare at some point and they couldn't figure out a way to do it, and the developers were like, you know what? We'll just make this one that's... Because this requires you to... Like, this requires you to have an opinion on people you might not have an opinion about. It's like, oh, I have to suddenly answer for Sebastian, who you can't date on your first playthrough? What? Wait, Emera, who the fuck is her she? Like, 
they'd have to include all these variables to make sure that you can answer these questions because you don't know who it. Also, by the way, fucking kudos for Otomo Izumi. I think her first name is Izumi. I don't know which one is. I'm so confused. <laughs> Everyone calls her Izumi. But what is her first name? Because in she's implied to be Eastern, which means that her family name comes first. But are we being polite and using her family name first or not? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, I can't take this anymore. I think Azumi is her first name. And it's always spelled properly because we're nice! We're nice people! Considerate of the Eastern culture! Wink, wink. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. Blech! Yeah, that works. That works. All that life has to offer. Oh wow, she actually doesn't criticize you for it, but she is like plus one if you say your last goodbyes. Oh, I I do love these little borrow words, like show works, it's a legal word in Dutch, even though it's basically taken. And I think it shows, yeah. Yeah, the multi plural. The, I think showing, if you make it into a verb, doesn't require an additional W. I think that's why the cost given all exists the way it does and everything, is because it needs to adapt to languages, because you just import words and they have to work now. So this works for her, because she's a flyer. She doesn't like closed spaces, because she has GIANT WINGS that need to move spaces. Oh, here it says headgear true, because at this point it actually starts checking it. Man, could you imagine doing something with battle damage? You'd have to write a whole bunch of if statements whenever you want to change any sprites. Oh man, that'd be painful. The dead is kiss me. Bite a lemon. I like how she doesn't even peel it. She just takes a bite out of a raw lemon. Yeah, it's kind of cute that the dare does actually get you the kiss. It's cute. You don't get or lose any points here, though. Don't let it get to your head. Where do I translate the actual achievement names, though? Cause unless I don't, I guess I guess I don't. That makes it a little bit awkward, though. But whatever, as long as people can read the descriptions and figure out what the fuck they're supposed to do. This one makes it like this is a, a quite a difficult question. You know, I say a little. I don't know. Mm. There we go. Bite a lemon. Oi. What is your biggest regret? I don't know how to translate regret in this context too well. Because this doesn't work. 
Like, I know one. Like, this is very different. It's just ask, what do you regret the most? But it works, I guess. I love how Adin is actually pretty fun casual. He's like, I'll, I'll bite a lemon and I'll give a kiss. Headgear. Yeah, that's gonna be a pickle to... Oh, Dixel. <laughs> that works, that works. It sounds kind of rude, technically, but it works fine enough. Ho oh, Hove Toy still works. Well... And we are a psychologist. We would use the fancy words. Bite in Citroën. A little car comes driving and take a bite out of that one. <laughs> it's just, it's just a um, Citroën. Even though it's a C. Fucking C, you do everything, don't you, little, little C? You're a K, you're a H in some situations. You're a lot of things. Go fuck yourself. And sometimes you're a sh. Like, Jesus Christ, man, C, how did you get this job? It's like you're everything. Who the hell needs the letter S? Who needs the letter K? Who needs the G? We can have a C. It's the most wonderful letter of the alphabet. Yeah, I need just to make sure because there's also do. I need to make sure. Man, fucking Flintook does have some good catchy music though. And I keep spitting on my screen. I never stop spitting on my screen over the course of the series. Unlike Sebastian, who is playing for the win. Nope. I like how she gets, she's giggling now. She's just giggling. Must be confusing to always have B, because that's her clove version. I mean, I guess it makes sense for dragons to have their neutral version be uh, undressed, but still. Wowie. <laughs> oh yeah, the first one's always excited. And now we get the sassy one. I want to say that she made her new, but no. Let me actually look that up and see if that's actually proper. Gazegden. Give me some Gazegden. With Koft. Halen. Really? Het net over het hoofd halen. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, these are some good ones. Let's take a look. This one might work. You don't have butter in your head. You're not innocent. Oh, uh. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. And the humble of the scrap of the car stick, and that doesn't work. Fuck, you don't need to be Someone who has the biggest head must also have the biggest hat. That's cute! <laughs> 
Oh, that's so cute. Someone who has the biggest someone who has right to the biggest chair should get the biggest chair. That makes sense. That's pretty cute. I love how it goes to hats. I love hats. I don't wear a hat, don't have any plans to wear a hat, but maybe if I ever go bald I might wear a hat. Maybe. Oh well one of those, those cute little kitty things. Those are things are adorable. Poop. I have a roof over your head. Yeah, that means you have a house. A shrimp also has a head against fucking rude kids. What? Um. Ah, okay, so it's if a kid's stubborn about something. Okay, let's... Ah, oh, this one works well. Uh, uh, head, uh, head, your head is uh, blossoming. Getting a red color on your face, very strong blush. Ooh, that might work, that might work. This is fun, looking up fucking puns. Or looking sayings, and then we'll use them as puns. This one might work, but it's a bit eh. Kopf van Jut. No, actually, this usually that's a Kopf van Jut, not the Hoofd of Jut. It's weird. You met the Oor van Dood, that's always a funny one. Ah, oh, that's fuck. Oh, this one's great, though! Iemand de kroon van het hoofd nemen. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> this one's very, very fucking rude. So this basically goes to that, uh, you... Oh, where, where the fuck was this, was this one at? Yeah. So it works in two ways. Because you technically, you made her disrobe, but you also took the crown off her head. Like, you kind of... Like, the idea is to make her shame. <laughs> but it did... But she didn't fall for it, which I could include. But I don't want these things to be too long. Hmm. Oh, I could do a better one. Oh my god, this is fucking rude as shit. <laughs> so he took the crown off her head. Unfortunately, she didn't care. Like, he didn't actually get her to be, feel ashamed, which is what the saying refers to. Or is, th or is that something you like? <laughs> oh, I know Adin is the innocent and pure one in some people's minds, but when you get this achievement, at this late in the game, you might as well get a good chuckle out of it. Oh. <laughs> Kink shaming system. That's a good one. Man, I don't even know what I'm going to do with Bryce. Actually, the endings I'm going to have to do pretty fucking serious and straightforward. Like, these are cute, but the endings are going to be serious because they are most likely the ones you get last. And she's giggling. Because she's annoyed, and then she's like, giggle. I wonder what her kiss is like. Like, you get kissed by two dragons over the course of your... Actually, three, since you have to do... Uh, actually, four. Because I think you have to do both of them twice. I wonder what a dragon kiss is like. Do they have lips? So this just says they were in the kitchen. Because I don't know, I'm not feeling like translating pantry again. I have to look that shit up then. Wow, Adine does a lot with your room compared to other people. Although then again, she's like the one who comes to your house. The minor tweaks I'm making are mostly just like, it works better. Like, it's the derf. Like, you don't say it's your derf. 
It's it's because it's technically it's yours. You're the one proposing it. You're the one proposing the dare, and it's not there there, is it? Or is it? I don't know. She didn't even peel it, just a bite out of a raw lemon. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder why she'd be so resistant to that. I mean, maybe it's the fish? The stomach acids or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, my arm, ah, oh, my light arm is starting to act up real bad. Ah, we can do this. I'm not going to write a couple lines tomorrow. I'm done with this, uh, luckily, so I don't have to worry about this part anymore. Come on, me! Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Yum alamon is basically anyone. Just I think that's actually written in one word though. Yum alamon. Okay, no. What? You what the hell? Whatever. I don't care. Wait a second, doesn't she start off with a question similar to this? That's kind of weird. Oh, cute! Uh, ah, uh, Anna's like, her mood goes down. And with Remy, her mood goes up. Where is Anna? Where's the Dean herself? She's not on this list, which makes it kind of awkward. Weird, weird, weird. I like how Dean can't think of anything. She's too innocent to think about removing your clothes. Maybe she doesn't know. Oh yeah, here we verified that O3 refers to that. They actually made the environment dark, so a Dean is implied to be thinking forever! <laughs> Almost there. I can do this. She's already thinking here, so... Hmm. Also, like, I understand, but don't do this. Don't, don't do this in particular. Like... Put this before order, because you don't need that in there. Like, this really must have been early on before you realized, wait, I can just put that outside, and it doesn't matter. I wonder if you can put the dissolve slow on the other side, too.
So if you wonder what das is, that's just dot is. That's, basically. Only it's very informal because you're missing the T. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to end on this. I don't want to end on this fucking note. I love how she realizes. I love how Dean is like, yes, I fucking know, you jerk. I know what you mean. I love how she turns annoyed and then she's disappointed. It's so fu- No! Ah! Oh, that reminds you of Chapter 3, which is the thing I want to show you in a moment. So, now that we got the big, heavy heart, oh man, I feel so bad already. Oh, ugh, ah. I like how everyone leaves fucking voicemails, too. I love how this is the thing with these dragons, is they love leaving voicemails. Yeah. So I changed the sense a bit. Or you can give me your number. Actually, I already have it since you ordered with us. You know. <laughs> Shit, fuck, no, god, no, ah. The second pass is going to be painful for every one of those. Oh. Ah! So the funny thing is, this kind of works, since you now get a voicemail for doing this. <laughs> Oh yeah, she gets your personal number in the other one because she's going to call you. Oh, that's fucking great. I love that little detail. That's it. That is the whole lot of Adin. Um, This is Video Junks. This is where all the random video craps. And there's the file. Waiting to be born. Baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn. Kothorix. Oh my god. He's such a fucking sleep. I, he, he doesn't do much lately in the server. But he, well, he was there. He was there. Also, I said some shit about Obsidian because I completely forgot that the Ophinia on Tumblr technically also does answer questions for the, uh, the Angels of Scaling Universe. But I forgot... An appendectomy, an appendectomy, stick a needle up your ass, stick up your ass. Just take this needle and jam it and just jam it and jam it right up your butt. Just stab it up your butt, it will leak a lot and you are hurt, you're so, so hurt. Don't forget to call a friend, to call a friend. Oh man, I love that, this is so great. Lost in thought, I haven't even noticed the teen approach. And here is the worst thing ever.
So, the funny thing is neutral is, I think, oh yeah, Oh, yeah. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to go run you through. Um, good, I think, is just regular. You did fine on your last date. Neutral is you haven't done any, is, I think. No, no, good is I think you did good. And then neutral is you did good on your last date. And she's like, oh, yeah, great, that's cute. Uh, bad is you fucked up a date. None is you never went on a date, which is neutral regularly. Uh, and else is abandoned, which means you had an impressed date and did not follow up that date immediately. Uh, the game is very fucking harsh on that. If you do not complete a date, the game instantaneously makes them abandoned afterwards. Um, I think so, at least. I think characters automatically become abandoned if you do not follow it up. Call lazy... Oh, yeah, it's a lazy check, which is wasting time. Um, yeah, also, we have to deal with this fucking bullshit. Oh, luckily, it's mostly options. Um... Once you unlock the musical device from Zhang, it keeps showing up every single fucking menu for some reason. But yeah! Next time, um, we're gonna do Lorem. Um, that's sure gonna be something. Lorem. Lorem, Lorem, Lorem. Lorem. How big is Lorem's first date? Uh, compared to Adine's first date, it's uh, a little shorter, actually. That's surprising. But it also doesn't have as much cut content, I assume. Uh, let's pull out Lorem's official file. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lorem, Lorem, Lorem. Lorem, Lorem, Lorem. Lorem, Lorem, Lorem. Yeah, Lorem has a lot of options because there's a lot of touch. Actually, this really isn't that much. I think I think it's more. Uh, Lorem, Lorem, Lorem. What was I fucking looking for? I forgot. Oh yeah, I was looking for any cut content. I doubt there's cut content, because Lorem is that kind of person. Look, I really like that Lorem is kind of the other side Adin could have taken, which is, listen, I don't think this is going to work out. And you helped out, but I'm going to be gone. Like, Lorem feels like he's being a bother. Like, Adin was like, listen, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'm out of here. And here is bad. Yeah, neutral is you just complete the date, and good is you complete the date well. It's kind of weird, because it's called impressed and good. Neutral is just you haven't met them. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid, 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 stupid. Um, Look at this. This is kind of rude, though. It's like, ah, you should be more careful and better leader into that. That's that. See you guys next time. This was short, but then again, we were finishing up, and I could have done it last time. Um... Adin is gonna, Lorem's gonna be interesting, because it seems like it's just big chunks of text, but otherwise, I actually kinda like the big chunky text, as long as it's boring enough that I just don't have to do much with it. I don't know what I'm gonna make Lorem sound like, I think I'm just gonna make him sound like whatever hell he sounds like. Kinda apologetic, fancy with the words, but not too fancy. Unlike Adin, who's supposed to sound kinda cute. Lorem's just kind of a person who exists, because that's really what he comes down to in the first few dates. But I don't wanna make him sound boring, because then I give him an unfair disadvantage, and that's not nice either. Things to remember when localizing a dating game, including video games.